It's an issue that small to medium-sized cities around America deal with each year. How to attract a modern and energetic workforce when competition from big cities is so strong? Milwaukee, Wisconsin is no different. Wanting to remind the world that Milwaukee has plenty going for it, despite being a short drive from Chicago, the city has one new shining example of that progress in action, the new headquarters of Northwestern Mutual. This building is leading the way for new business and top talent. The design and the location right here on the waterfront is meant to attract millennials, Milwaukee's next generation of the workforce. It's the second tallest building in the city of Milwaukee. Um, it's glass and the, the entire volume of the building just stands out from downtown here. This is going to be a type of project that changes the skyline of Milwaukee forever. Three goals behind this building. One, uh, show our brand in Milwaukee, strong, classic, timeless. Two, connect with the community, reinvest in Milwaukee and bring Milwaukee onto our campus, both in terms of jobs and opportunities that we've created, as well as coming in our doors once the building is done. And then the third is really to drive employee engagement, create the kind of workspace that we know we need to have to provide the best long-term value for our policyholders. This project is so important to this area, which I call the heart of the city, because it sends a very tangible sign that Milwaukee is growing, that companies believe in this city, believe in the future in the city, believe in the people of the city. Once completed, it will be the single biggest commercial office building in the state. Its electrical construction is being completed under the watchful eyes and skilled hands of the Powering America team, Nika and the IBEW. Getting the work wasn't easy, but a great selling point was the code of excellence. It's an agreement between labor and the contractor. Things like arriving to work on time and ready, obeying customer and employer rules, eight hours for eight hours pay, keep breaks to their allotted time and zero tolerance for alcohol and substance abuse. There's more, but you get the idea. It puts the labor on the same page as management. We both understand uh, what's expected of, of both sides. It leaves no questions. It just, everybody's on the same page and everything works real well that way. Our uh, billing trades president went to Northwestern Mutual, proposed the idea, and they loved it. They wanted to make the whole job code of excellence, including all the other trades. So now it's a code of distinction job, where every trade, every member that goes on site has to have the code of distinction. It is truly the gold standard of what's going on in Milwaukee building-wise right now. The trades are blending wonderfully in here. This job is under a project labor agreement, which really helps set the tone. And uh, I have to really credit a lot of it to the upfront safety orientations, as well as the code of distinction and the code of excellence that's been implied on this job. Bringing it to the NECA contractors allows them to see the value of having this code of excellence. That you know your workers are going to be on time. You know that they're going to be trained. You know that they're going to give you eight hours work each day. They're going to be responsible. That's what you want to have as an employer. And by IBEW showcasing this, I think it's really going to spread throughout the entire industry. We wanted every worker on this job to go through the program because it matches our values. You know, our core value of caring, this is a perfect alignment of making a difference. Pledges, codes, mission statements, they're rendered useless if not backed up by simply living up to your word. And in this case, rolling up your sleeves and getting to work. We purchased and installed the bus duct as well as the distribution panels and panel boards. With Peeper Electric, we're involved in the build out, which has to do with the installation of in-floor power as well as uh, lighting and lighting control systems. There's uh, hundreds of thousands of feet of low voltage cable that we've installed here on the job site with several hundred more to come. We're doing HVAC controls is probably the most unique component that we're working on. This job has been in progress for over two years now with an anticipated opening for the end of 2017. The job's been very challenging. There's a lot of planning that goes into making sure that guys, materials, tools are all in the right places at the right time so that we can be the most efficient group we can be. We did all the underground wiring, all the main distribution, um, all the electric that's part of the skeleton of the building. Right now I'm running uh, control wiring or low voltage wiring for the HVAC system, so anything with heating or cooling controls. 
been a great relationship with NECA and our relationship with IBEW and our customers. Our customers really benefit from the relationship we have with the local and the contractors because they get a much better high quality project built on time, really safe, and it's a win-win situation for all of us. This is truly amazing what's being done and let's keep raising the bar with this together. But the application for the entire job site with the idea spurred by the IBEW has just been awesome. In the end, when the customer is asked what it is about the NECA IBW team that makes them great, the answer is simple. Focus on excellent, focus on safety, which is important to us, focus on a commitment to quality and to scope and to schedule. Reporting for ETV from Milwaukee, I'm Erica McClarity.